One of the best ways to become familiar with a particular object or a type of object and how it works, or even commands and how they work, is to run them through some kind of interpreter. Sometimes you're going to just start Python by typing Python, such as Linux, you just type in Python or Python 3. And on Windows, you have the additional option of running the Python IDE right here. So I start that up. And now I get this window where I can start typing commands. So the first thing I want to do is type in help, help list. Now this will give me help about the list type. It likes to hide things for me so I can double click on this and display it. If you're using a regular command line interpreter, it will just display it and then you can usually scroll through it or something to get information. You can see these double underscore fall by name, fall by two, double underscore type methods. And these ones are built-in methods that allow you to do all kinds of things like comparisons and um, adding things together. So if you add a list plus another list type things. Um, so much more complex things. These are not things you call normally. Down below, you see ones that actually have text right here. And these are ones you call. So you have append, clear, copy, count, extend, index, insert, pop, uh, remove, sort, all right here. Now, you can um, then decide how you want to use these in order to modify things. So let's look at how we can add something to the back of an, a list and how we can take it off the front or off the back and how you can insert it into the front. So we've got uh, insert, which will put it any place, including the front. We have an append, which will put it at the back. And we have a pop, which we can use to take it off the front or the back, depending on where you want to take it off. So let's go ahead and play with this a little bit. So first, I'm going to create a list. So my list is A. And it's going to be A equals, and then open, close, square brackets. And now, with this, I can go ahead and let's, let's resize this a little bit to make it a little bit more visible. All right, so you can do A, append, 1. And I can append um, A, append, 2. And A, append, 3. Now, if I want to see what's in A, I can press a and enter and it'll show me that one two three is in there now you might be thinking that the first index is one which is not the case it's actually zero so if i do a open square bracket an index number zero close square bracket you can see it is the first object or object is zero now if i want to see the last object i can do a minus one and you can see that's three or because I know it is in position 0, 1, 2, I can do A, 2, which is the same thing. You can also do A and um, let's do len A to get the length. And you can see the length is three objects. All right. Now, if I wanted to put something into the front of the list instead of in the back, I can do A, insert a position, so zero, and then an object, let's say the object is going to be zero. And then I look at A again, and you can see zero, one, two, and three. Now, if I look at position zero, you can see that it is zero now. The very first position is zero. I could also insert somewhere in the middle if I wanted. So I could do A, insert two, oops. 2, comma, and then I'll insert the letter X. Now, if I A, you can see that X has been inserted into the middle. I can also do a pop. So if I do A, pop, like this, it will actually return the value. And so I could do B equals that. Now, if I look at B, you can see it took the 3, which is the back. And if I look at my list a you can see that the back has been removed so popping removes it permanently i could also do just without putting into a variable i can do a 
pop index zero, which will take off the first one, it returns it, and now it's no longer in the list. You can see that A is missing that first or that index zero. I can do A pop in the middle as well. So index zero one would be the X. And now that's gone, and I can see that my list is back to what it is. Using these methods, you can probably see how you can modify the contents of a list. Now, one more thing I want to show you is you can check to see if something is in a list. So we have objects one and two in the list. So I could do something, you say, you could say, if one in a print present or I could do the same thing with two and say if or three in a print present and you can see it doesn't print it so we can use this to add things to a list if they are not there. So I can say, if not three in a, a append three. And that will get it into our list A. So you can use that to add things to a list if they're not there or other things like that. So here are some interesting things you can use with lists and I shall help you get started.